Privyet Pirashotsky. Hey guys, today's video is very important. It's gonna be a, a talking video actually. Ayona and me, we work very hard on new videos. It takes a lot of time. But unfortunately, the last few weeks, we tried uploading videos and more and more videos get banned. It seems that a lot of artists set their privacy settings, their video settings, in a way that you're not allowed to upload anything that has to do with the music used in the original video or with the video. And as soon as you try to upload something that has the artist's song in it, um, it gets permanently banned. And this has been happening the last few weeks more and more. Actually, we would have had about eight videos we could upload now, but they are all banned. And the shitty thing is that you don't know what reaction will be banned until you upload it. Only when you upload the reaction, you get a message from YouTube saying, hey, surprise, you used copyright protected material and you're not allowed to upload this video. Although this video is far from the original one, because as you know, I edited it. I talk before, I talk right in between, and at the end I also tell you my conclusion. And still, YouTube gives me the middle finger saying, hey, ooh, surprise, it seems like you used copyright protected music here. Well, too bad, motherfucker, the video is banned now. A few weeks ago, Aliona sent me a mail with six songs she really likes. So maybe you saw two of them. The reason is the other four got banned. And, you know, I sat there Sunday morning, I reacted to all, of, uh, all six of them, which took me maybe about two hours. And then I started editing four of them, which were another maybe three hours. And out of those six videos, four are banned on YouTube. So I thought, okay, what could I do? What could I do? And I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can take the original reaction that has not been edited yet, this one, and then I can upload it to see if YouTube detects or if the algorithm detects, hey, wait a second, you're using copyright protected material here. Pardon me for my phone. But unfortunately, the situation is that this raw video, the unedited one, it is completely fine. I don't know if you can see this because it's very small. This um, red dollar sign just means that we can't earn money with this. But it is av available. It is available. I could set this to online now and you guys could watch it. So the, the original material is fine, but then I was like, okay, cool. That means I can edit the reaction and I can upload the, you know, the real video, the good one. And the reaction video all of a sudden is blocked. And you can't, you can't do anything about it. It's not visible on YouTube. So taking this raw material and uploading it to YouTube first to see if the algorithm is fine with it, it also doesn't work. So what should we do? What should we do, guys? It's very unmotivating, to be honest. It's very... Pff, it's exhausting and it's kind of... Yeah, it's, it's just sad. Annoying. Because we both, Aljona and me, we put a lot of work into it, you know? It takes about 20 to 30 minutes uh, reacting to a video and then editing one is like one and a half more hours. So you can say like two hours per video. And YouTube is just a side project for us, you know? I'm working eight and a half hours per day. And then I have to I have to go to work, which takes me about 45 minutes. I have to be there at work and then I have to drive back home 45 minutes. And then it's evening. And sometimes I still sit on my computer and 
record reactions or edit videos. But when it is like this, it's all for nothing. It's it's just, you know, it's useless time. It's it's very annoying and I don't know how to continue like that. I, actually, I don't want to continue like that. But at the same time I do because it's fun. And all your nice comments and your love, it's worth making videos for. We don't earn a lot of money with this channel, almost nothing. But still, we do it because, just because of your, of your reactions basically. It's very nice reading all those nice comments. Of course, I understand the artist's decision because it is not 100% our video material. So, all right, we have to accept that, but it still sucks. So I was talking with Aliona and we were thinking about what we could do. This method of um, uploading the raw material first to see if the algorithm detects any copyright infringements, it doesn't work as you saw. If something like that happens again, I could think of cutting the whole video out, you know, like the whole original song. So you basically see me in front of the camera the whole time. I cut out the music video and you can't see any original clip and you only, you only see me basically talking in front of the camera. But that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I can do that, but I think it's not fun to watch. So, of course, I was also talking with Aliona about new video ideas, you know, what could we do instead of reactions? But that's also another problem. We have some ideas, but they take a lot of time and also switching the video content on one channel is not a good idea. Many creators have done that before and most of the times it doesn't work because people go crazy. I know that most of you or basically every one of you subscribe to our channel because of the reaction videos. And if I switch content all of a sudden and I don't make any reactions anymore, but let's say I play video games, which is also not a good idea, but I will explain in a minute, you will go crazy and you are like, oh, why, why, why did you stop making reactions? This is the reason why I subscribe to you and now you're not doing reactions anymore. It doesn't work. Viewers are not satisfied with that. That's why many creators have second channels or maybe even third ones where they try out new stuff. And as I just mentioned, video games was one idea I had, but I have some gaming stuff here in my background and sometimes I play video games, but I'm not a hardcore gamer. I'm not a born let's player, you know. I think I don't talk enough uh, I just concentrate on the game, so I think this is not a good idea. Another idea we had was teaching German, for example. Or maybe me learning Russian. And it sounds fun, and I'm sure if we created videos about that, it could be fun. But it will take way more time than making reactions. And this would mean that there will be one new video every three or four weeks. I don't know, maybe every two weeks. And it's still too little, you know, it's, it's still not enough. So what should I do, guys? What should I do? This is the reason why we don't upload regularly or why there haven't been any new videos for some time now. We would like to, but we just can't. I just wanted to address this problem and explain to you what's going on. We have to figure something out and yeah. Let's see, let's see. Take care.